It's another beautiful Friday, and it's time for another Sports Corner. I'm Cole Young, and I'll get right to it. First and foremost, the Super Bowl is set. After two incredible games this past weekend, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs are headed to Glendale, Arizona next Sunday to square off for the Lombardi Trophy. Since the big game is still a week away, I'll preview and go into more depth next Friday. So be sure to come back then for a full episode of Super Bowl preview and predictions. For now, I'll just mention that the Eagles are currently a two and a half point favorite over the Chiefs. Since the only football this weekend consists of the Pro Bowl, Skills Competition, and Flag Football game, which should still be fun to watch, I figured this week I'd cover a few other storylines that I've missed because I've been entirely devoted to the playoffs. First, LeBron James. The Lakers superstar is about a week away from surpassing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to seize the NBA's career scoring crown. His 38,388th regular season point will represent a monumental achievement. LeBron will have the most points out of any player throughout history. This is also a historic moment because of how infrequently NBA records have changed. The points record has been broken just once since 1966, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has held it since before LeBron was even born. The rebounds record hasn't changed in 50 years, and the assists, steals, and blocks record holders have all stayed the same since the mid-90s. The only other player that's ever come close to Kareem's record was Karl Malone, who LeBron surpassed about a year ago. This further proves the point that not only is LeBron making history by becoming the all-time leading scorer, he might stay the all-time leading scorer for decades, if not forever. As of Thursday morning, LeBron currently has 38,299 points, just 89 points shy of the record. By this time next week, it seems very likely he'll be taking the crown. Speaking of crowns, Novak Djokovic has won again. The 35-year-old won his 10th Australian Open Championship and record-tying 22nd Grand Slam title. He has also stretched his unbeaten streak in Melbourne to 28 matches, a record which dates back to 1968. With 22 titles, Djokovic is now tied with only one other man, Rafael Nadal, and only two women, Margaret Court with 24 and Serena Williams with 23, are ahead of him. To quickly wrap up, I know I said I'd save the football talk for next week, but two major stories broke earlier this week. First, the Denver Broncos have completed their search for a head coach. The Broncos have officially traded two draft picks to the New Orleans Saints in return for legendary Super Bowl winning coach Sean Payton. It's expected that the Broncos will make Payton the highest paid coach in the league. The second major story, Tom Brady, for the second time, has officially retired. The quarterback who has seven Super Bowl wins, five Super Bowl MVPs, three NFL MVPs, 15 Pro Bowls, six All-Pros, NFL record most career wins, most career passing yards, most career passing touchdowns, and who made the playoffs in 20 out of 21 seasons, has officially decided to hang up the cleats. In my opinion, Tom Brady officially goes down as the greatest quarterback of all time. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers will now begin the search for their next quarterback to fill the massive shoes left behind by Brady. A fun fact, Tom Brady was the last active professional athlete drafted by the Montreal Expos, and now there are none. As I said, be sure to come right back next Friday for a full breakdown and preview of the Super Bowl. I'm Cole Young, thank you for joining me. Enjoy your weekend full of anticipation for the big game next Sunday, and I'll see you next time.